Now we continue in that line of celebration. This time we celebrate a life well lived. Family, friends, and well wishers bid farewell to late Chief Joseph Adolo Okutib. <laughs> An icon of humility and love. This is one way family, friends, and well wishers of Chief Joseph Adolor Okotiebo chose to remember and celebrate him as activities for his final rite of passage began. Different emotions on display. The agony of this painful loss clearly written on the face of his wife, Angela, siblings and sympathizers during the tribute night and wake-up service. Chief Joseph Adolok Kotiebo, who is the son of the first minister of finance in the First Republic of Nigeria, Chief Festus Okotiebo, transited to eternal glory on July the 6th, 2019, after a brief illness. man shall eat and drink and enjoy the good of his labor this it is the gift of God may the Lord bless his words the former governors of Delta State Chief James Ibori and Dr. Emmanuel Udwaga were in attendance a proud indigenous of Delta State Chief Okotiebo in his lifetime played a vital role in building the democratic structure of Nigeria. He specifically had a passion for empowering the youth and improving the status of all Niger Deltans. The most important aspect of death is that there is the assurance of a reunion. We are going to meet again. Surely we are going to meet again. He mingled with both the high and the low in the society. As a politician, he works with political office holders both at the state and national level to bring about a better Nigeria. He'll no doubt be greatly missed. Adola came from a very noble and well healed family and was bestowed with all the good things in life. Yet he remained so simple, humble, and friendly to all high mighty or low. He's a good man and he'll be sitting at the right hand of God. Sir Joe, my chairman. Go there, Juma. Go there. Good night. Thank you. None else could heal all our souls these is No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. Open up for Jesus, a dance group all the way from Wari broke the praise the Shakiri style.
beautiful way to celebrate Chief Joseph Adolo Okotiebo as the tribute night comes to an end. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Chief Okotiebo was an active member of the Ikoyi Baptist Church for almost 30 years. It was only appropriate for his final service to be held there. Any children of history, any, anyone who, who, is, who, is, who knows history in Nigeria knows that that name is a name that is to be reckoned with. It is not an ordinary name. And we give thanks to God that our brother carried that name well. Chief Okotiebo was an old boy of Igbobi College, Lagos, and the show came to honor one of their own. Let him unveil these tidings bear wherever there's a Igbobian. There also is a noble Nigerian. Say, 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 say. Say. The service did not take too long, and it's good night to Chief Joseph Adolo Okotiebo. Everything, you know, he has done for me. He stood behind me when I was sick. He stood behind me, you know what, uh, when I was leaving the United States. He made me went to the United States. Without him, I would have been still in Nigeria, you know. He helped me a lot, money-wise, friendship, everything, you know. His remains were taken back to his route, Wari in Delta State, South South Nigeria. The atmosphere is gloomy. Members of his community tripped out to pay their last respect, including the Deputy Senate President, Ovie Omoagege, who left the dignitaries. They wasted no time as his remains were committed to earth. This death came so suddenly that um, it is most unexpected. So we will miss his presence. We will miss his, you know, anytime he comes to the house, you can feel the size, the size of him alone. It's, um, it's overwhelming, uh, so we, we miss him, we definitely miss him. The next day, they gathered again at the Okoyi Baptist Church for the outing service. <laughs> And then they stepped forward to thank God for the success of the burial ceremony. After the Thanksgiving service, everyone retired to the Kotiebo family compound 
as they continue to celebrate the life and times of Chief Joseph Adolo Okotiebo. <laughs> Chief Okotiebo was indeed a passionate Nigerian. He came, he saw, and conquered, leaving good memories that will be cherished by his loved ones. He is survived by his wife, daughter, siblings, and an aged mother. May his soul find rest in the Lord's bosom. Well, our thoughts and prayers are with the Ukutiba family. And his gentle soul continues to rest in perfect peace. Amen. Well, that's it on Metro File today. This is where we draw the curtains. We hate to say our goodbyes, but no, you know we have to. All mm -hmm. right. Go to channelstv.com, buy a YouTube channel, watch different editions of Metro File. Do your catch up right there. Our Twitter handles are on your screen if you want to uh, talk to us or we would always like to hear your feedback. Just tweet at us. And the number blinking there on your screen, you can call it to find out details about the program. Thank you so much for watching our edition today. I'm Anne Wawadu. And I'm Oge Chikuosi. Do not forget to watch the repeat of the program on Saturday at 12 noon. And a fresh edition comes up on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And that, of course, repeats on Wednesday at 11 p.m. So do watch out for it. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you pretty soon. Bye.